So I was asked about this uh, question, um, and this is about creating a frequency table. And I, I agree, this is um, you know an interesting question. So I don't really care about this part. This is just the setup. Okay. Um, what you want to do is you want to focus on we're conducting constructing a frequency table for the data using four classes. So basically, you're using four classes. You're going to use four bins. Is the word that I used in the PowerPoints videos. Blah blah blah. And this is the data that they give you. And then they want the lower class limit to be um, 21. And then they want the upper class limit to be 24. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go over into Excel, and I've just put all of the data in just as it was written. All right, and so this is going to be the lower end. It's going to be 1, right? And then, of course, the upper end, right? I have four bins. I have four classes, so this is one class two class, three classes, four classes. And so there's the 24. Now, this is basically a, hey, take 24 and divide it by four. And what do you get? You get six, okay? So basically, you need six, 12, 18, 24. These are your upper class limits right here. And I get that by just doing like two times six, right? Uh, three times six and then four times six right each of the four classes so these are my these end up being my upper limits over here now basically to get your lower limits all you got to do is add one so six plus one is seven twelve plus one is thirteen and eighteen plus one is nineteen so those are your actual classes for each one now I'm gonna delete all of this uh, stuff Okay, and so now what we want to do is we want to figure out the frequencies of each of these. Now, I could go through and try and figure out how many of them are 1 through 6, but really Excel has this super nice sort feature, and I can just sort from smallest to largest. And so now it's really easy to see. I've got 1, 2, uh, 1, 3, 4, 5. Those are all between 6 before I get to 9. So there are 4 of them there. I have a frequency of 4. And then you've got 9, 9, uh, 10, 12, 12. Now remember, 12 is part of the frequency. So these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These 5 actually belong to this category. And then 13 starts the next category. So you got 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And remember, we're going up to 19, uh, 6, 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 values that are between 13 and 18. So 7 is going to go right here. And then now we're going to start with 19 and go to 24. So we've got 19, 20, 20, and 21. We've got four of those. And so this is uh, this is your frequency table right here. This is the frequency table that you want uh, to answer for this particular question. All right. Uh, I hope that helps. I'm going to stop now.